This is the Victigen N2 Plus battery charger. So let's unbox it and take a look at it. Wow, they've clearly shoved a lot of stuff in there. Maybe a little more than was supposed to be in this box. Okay, boy, this is really packed in here quite tightly. Let's see if I can get it out. This video will be 10 minutes of watching a girl struggle to unpack a box. Yeah, wow, okay. Let's make sure nothing's caught on anything in here. Let's try. Okay, here we go. All right. So the problem was that the batteries are sitting on top of it instead of in it. So that was what was causing it not to fit in the box. All right. So we have our USB cable for plugging that in. Have the charger user manual here. Let's see how big this unfolds. All right. So let's take a look at the actual charger and batteries that it comes with. So it comes with 18652 batteries and they are 3200 capacity. And the charger itself. So this will adjust to the different sizes. Sizes? Sizes. So that's neat. Here is the back label, made in China. Okay, so what I like about this one versus other chargers, my old charger just had an indicator light for all the batteries in it charged and not charged. This one shows separate ones for the two different batteries that you have charging, and it gives percentages so you can see like oh my battery's halfway charged so it gives you some clue of you know where you're at in the process of charging your batteries so I think that's really neat I do want to comment while I'm saying how neat that is that while they did send me this to test this video is not sponsored all my opinions are my own the link I'm going to put down below is not an affiliate link so I'm just showing you this and you guys make your own decision. I'm not going to talk you into it or out of it. So I'm just going to show you the product. All right, let's turn it, turn it on, plug it in and charge up some batteries. The cable it comes with is not that long. I mean, it's good distance, but for the sake of this video, I want to be able to show you without being so close to my wall plug. So I'm just going to use a different cable than the one it came with. Well, I like the fact that it is a standard USB cable. Oops, I'm off screen, sorry. I like that it's a standard cable so that you can do stuff like just easily replace it or pick a different length. Okay, so it lights up the 1A light when you plug it in. Not sure why. All right, so we have, okay, positive, negative. So you're going to put it in this direction there. Okay, so there we go. It came with, it looks like, hmm, okay, well, it's trying to decide, I guess. Okay, uh, it looks like it came with 50% charge, already charged. And now it's indicating that it's charging the rest of the way, is how that indicator works. All right, so that holds it. Oh, it's a little crooked in there. Hmm. All right, so yeah, there you go. That's actually pretty secure once you get it in. Let's check out what charge the other one came with. So you just push it down and put it in the center there. 
All right, so it looks like this one is also 50% charged. So I'm going to just leave this for a while and let it charge the ones that it came with the rest of the way. And I will check in with you in a little while. Okay, so it has been about half an hour and the one battery still says it's at 50% and charging, but the other one just now reached 75%. It just did that while I was standing here getting ready to do my half hour check-in. It's now been a little over two hours. I went and had lunch and have come back. And now you can see that they are both at 75% and still charging. So I'm going to leave them again and check back in soon. While it's charging, I'm looking over the manual and it says that 1A is default, but if you press the mode key for two seconds, it will switch to the 0.5 slow charge mode. But right now I actually do want them to charge fast, so I'm just going to switch that back. All right, so there you go. So that is what the 1A and 0.5A lights are for, is how many amps they're charging at, Warm tips, small capacity battery, 0.5 amps current charging is recommended. For other battery capacity, user can choose as they're like. So if you have low capacity batteries, it recommends that you switch it over to the slow charge and make sure that the indicator light is on that one. But for these larger ones, just keep it on fast charge. So this battery finished charging, so I put in one from my flashlight. So now you can see these have both reached 100%. So I'm going to just take my flashlight battery out and I'm going to put it back in my flashlight and see how it works. Alright, turned it on on strobe, but yes, it works. So there you go. The battery did charge up and it, my flashlight works again. So it looks like this charger does work. So my only sort of negative for this, and it's not really a negative, it's just you have to remember that if you're putting in a smaller battery, or if you were using a smaller one and you're switching to a large one, you do have to hit this mode button, hit it and hold it down actually, until it switches. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Can you only switch mode when the battery is in there? One, two, three. Okay, so it looks like it's not actually switching. So that's weird. Let me try putting a battery in and then pressing the mode button. Huh, that's bizarre. You can only switch the mode after a battery is in it. So it looks like it would start out on the wrong mode. So I'll have to look into the manual a little more about that, maybe contact the seller. And if I find out more details on that, I will put them down below in the description box for you. But for charging the 18650 batteries, this does work. It works well. You leave it overnight. You've got a charged up battery. So I'm happy with it for that. It does what I want. Okay, so hopefully if you guys found this helpful, you can click that little thumbs up button down there. And subscribe to me if you want to see more reviews from me in the future.